Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here and I'm back with my buddy Eonex and today we're gonna be going over Pokemon that were uh, banned from RU and while well, they're being used in UU. We're gonna be going over uh, some of the new additions to the RU tier. We're gonna be going over some of the new additions to the NU tier and we're gonna be going over some of the new additions to the PU tier. Give our thoughts on them, uh, what you might see from them and you know what are the better picks going all around. So of course as I said, I have my buddy Eonex with me. You can say hi. PU is wild, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I did a video with uh, Expulsal yesterday, and we were just mm -hmm. looking at the tier, and it was just absolutely insane. So, if you guys enjoy this video, by the way, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. You know, you help me out. The boy's on his way to 257,000 subscribers, and um, yeah, let's uh, let's start it off. So, uh, we're looking at what recently moved up from uh, RU slash got banned first. So, you want to start it off with Venusaur? Mm -hmm. Yep, so, so uh, Venusaur was the only Pokemon in the first uh, slate of bands from the RU Council that was um, unanimously banned. Uh, pretty much everything else uh, that was banned got one or two votes to do not ban. Venusaur, yeah, everyone on the council said no, this has to get out of here. Um, under Sun, it was completely uh, broken, basically. Like, it just set up growth, destroyed your entire team. And if you didn't have like a Ditto or a Trace Scarf Gardevoir, you pretty much lost on the spot if it set up a growth. Yeah, I mean, it, it's funny because it's just like you said, it does the same thing in every tier. Venus was that type of mod that can do the same thing in Ubers if it wants to as well. Just put uh, Earth Power yeah. over so you can hit Eternatus. But um, yeah. yeah, it's a uh, growth. Uh, Weather Ball was such a great addition. Like it had it before, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It also had Earth Power as well, but it couldn't get it with Chlorophyll. Um, right. Mm -hmm. From what I remember, and actually no, it didn't have Earth Power. It had Weather Ball though. It had Weather Ball before, but yep. it couldn't get it with Earth, uh, with Chlorophyll. Back when I got it in Gen Five, Chlorophyll. So the fact that we can now use Growth plus that, I mean, it's amazing coverage. That's it. For the most part, Weather Ball is stronger than Sludge Bomb and Giga Drain unless they're super effective. So uh, yep. it was unanimously banned, and it could still do the same thing in OU. Still do the same thing in UU as well. Right. So Venusaur is mm -hmm. like. I mean, again, it makes sense why it was unanimously banned. And, I mean, this is the best way to use it, in my opinion, too. Uh, let's go to Scolipede now. This is actually really interesting, too, because uh, when it went down to the tier and Skarmory did not follow, you already knew. You already knew. Oh, yeah. This, oh, mon, yeah. <laughs> uh, this mon got banned from UU while Skarmory was UU. Just to exactly. keep that in mind. Just to keep that in mind. This mon was banned previously in UU while Skarmory was UU. And, it, I mean, it's just amazing what it does. Boots are great for Scolipi too because uh, you don't have to worry about hazards while you still also absorb Toxic Spikes. You still have that utility of that. And not having to worry about that. I actually like Life Orb a lot, too. Um, yeah. But then you have to worry a little bit more about, like, spin and stuff. But this is the basic move pool you need. Swordsance, Poison Jab, Rock Slide, Megahorn. Earthquake is also uh, an option as well. Yeah, if you uh, want. It is right here. Uh, one of the big things that Earthquake did hit was Nido Queen, but... Um... Like it rose up to UU just before uh, the uh, tier shifts. The, yeah, it, it rose up to UU through tier shifts, which we'll talk a little bit about later. Um, but Scolipi, once Nidoqueen Queen left, like that was the one thing that you might want to run Earthquake for, um, that, or that you would need to run Earthquake for uh, to kill it before it killed you. Uh, once that left to UU uh, through usage, that was it. Like, <laughs> like that was like the one thing somewhat possibly holding it back and under Aurora Veil like it was stupid um, like it's stupid on its own like it's kind of broken on its yeah, own yeah just but... being able to set up I mean it's not just yeah. like you can run screens as well with it too I like Rock oh, yeah. Slide left like Crobat uh, Noivern at a point too as well mm -hmm. just options like that um, exactly I do think that it might have still ran Earthquake because of like Registeel and stuff but yeah uh, least... like Earthquake was still an option but like it's so much easier to wear uh, Registeel down and it's to wear Nidoqueen Queen down yeah uh, because and not only that but you can like uh, weaken Registeel a lot quicker with like Volt Switches and stuff oh, like sure. that Registeel is the type of Pokemon that's poised to come in and take hits that's what it's supposed to do whereas yeah. uh, and be a pivot Nidoqueen Queen is uh, a more sturdier version of Nido King but it's one that comes in and does damage eventually switches out maybe you'll use it to check your fighter but that's about yeah. it. But yeah, I mean, again, another ban that I think was going to happen. There's There was no Skarmory in that tier either. And, and yeah, like no. I said, it got banned in a tier that had Skarmory. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the, the number one answer to it as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Conk was another one that I thought was uh, wild too. 
Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it got banned and then rose to EU by usage. Uh, so one way or another, it was leaving the tier, but it did get uh, quick banned. And pretty easy to see why. Uh, with close combat, it just destroyed so many things. And a few things that could switch into a close combat didn't take the solder knockoff well at all. And then it's got mock punch to even put in some work against uh, faster paced offensive teams. So overall, like it was an easy ban. And uh, similar to Scolope, you put this thing behind the Veil is absolutely insane. Yeah, even um, naturally, like it's just so bulky uh, with that base 105 HP and 95 defense. And even though base 65 special defense isn't like the most respectable, when you pair that with 105 HP, like you're eating most, if not all, uh, future you take, yeah, like, yeah, you can take a special hit. Yeah, uh, exactly. Pretty much any time you need to. Like being able to take you... an Earth Power or Sludge Wave from Needle Queen or something like that. Or, like, exactly. Yeah, it just, mm -hmm. And then just KO them back with Facade and uh, to mock Punch or whatever you need to do for your team. So, Conk was another one that was big. Um, as I mentioned in the other video the other day, that uh, this Pokemon uh, has been seeing some use on dual screens in UU as well. Uh, mm, my friend Somalia, reason. yeah, my friend Somalia made a dual screens team with sub bulk up Conkelder. <laughs> like that sounds very scary. Yeah, actually. like sub bulk up knockoff Dream Punch. How do, you, how, how do you break those subs? You don't. That's the thing. Like they bulk <laughs> up, you have the veil, and then and then they just get the yep. HP back and they do it again. So I, I can't wait to show yeah. that off eventually. Um, but yeah, this is uh, another unanimous ban, and I think Haxorus uh, was a hundred percent going to happen too. Again, it got mm -hmm. banned before in the Skarmory. Uh, meta, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was UUBL at a point this gen, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. We did ban Haxorus. And uh, in a Skarmory, like I said, in a Skarmory tier, tier, and I think Scale Shot was just the big thing that pushed it over the edge. You no longer had to use Dragon Dance now to get a boost, and being able to get your Swords Dance plus Scale Shot is amazing. Uh, I love Lumberry. I love it. I think just being able to set up in front of like Scalds and stuff like that always made huge for Haxorus. And some people do like Heavy Duty Boots. I'm not the hugest fan. Um, because it's it's harder to set up for free, but this is all you need: scale shot, earthquake, and poison jab. It's crazy because none of its attacks are like that strong besides earthquake, just naturally, like on average. Right. But when you have base one forty seven attack and mold breaker as well, so you can earthquake, levitate, wheezing, back, even in the UU tier. Um, yep. Yeah. So another one that yeah. think was unanimously going to be banned, but didn't. But yeah. I thought it was. Yeah, like I think there was only like two votes to not ban it, but. It was pretty clear it's going to leave the tier. Um, another set that was starting to gain popularity before it got banned with Choice Band, mm -hmm. with First Impression over Swords Dance and uh, Outrage over Scale Shot. Yeah. Uh, just to like hit super hard immediately. Like a lot of times, Haxorus, we need to turn the set up to really start killing stuff. And Choice Band kind of bypassed that because now you have priority and Outrage yep. uh, to just slam stuff immediately. So, pretty easy uh, thing to be banned. And speaking of another pretty easy thing to get banned uh, Kira with the, yeah yeah Kira was the last uh, of the uh, Pokemon we're gonna go over that have been quick banned from are you um, choice specs we have listed here just destroyed pretty much everything with Draco meteor freeze dry and then you got earth power for your steel types ice beam if there's no water types it, it, it did not uh, switch it it did not switch it's like no that's that's no. it like this mon was broken in you you at a in, in OU at a point like mm -hmm. and it honestly right now like just to look at current OU, there's nothing that really wants to take hits from this thing. Whether you run Earth Power or Focus Blast, like I think the best answer in the tier uh, would probably be Galarian Sloking. Probably the only thing that's not two Akio but a little bit prior, because even like yep. Blissey uh, can be two Akio, just a little bit of chip. Um, right. Where Sloking is, and Sloking can't even do much back, even if it's AV. Like it's not doing a lot. Yeah, back. no. Yeah, like it just kind of absorbs the hit, and then what do you do? Exactly. Try try to poison it with sludge bomb. Yeah, I guess that's 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 it. Like this mod is just too too much for the tier. So, yeah. Needle Queen. Uh, do you want to go Needle Queen next? Yeah. So Needle Queen. Uh, now we're kind of getting into Pokemon that have uh, over the past couple of tier shifts uh, have risen to UU via usage. They were not banned, but they have risen to use it in usage, and I feel they are significant to go over because they play significant roles in the RU meta. Uh, Needle Queen uh, was the offensive cell talker. Like, as, as she always is whenever she drops down to RU. Mm -hmm. um, and this was pretty easy to see coming when Nidoking rose to OU. Like, pretty much everyone in RU knew Nidoking was on borrowed time. It was going to rise to UU. It, she always ends up a tier below Nidoking. So it was, pretty, it, it was pretty easy to see coming. And obviously, with uh, the most recent shift, uh, Nidoking, I think, cracked top 10 in UU usage. So, yeah, we're not seeing Nidoking in RU anytime soon. <laughs> um but she was a fantastic Celtrock setter. Um, 
could deal a lot of damage, could check some stuff in a pinch. Beating the Defoggers uh, is really good when it comes to Needle Queen as well. Like, definitely. Thunderbolt, definitely. Earth Power, Sludge that's all you need to, to yeah. use. So you're beating the Defoggers. Even the Spinners don't want to come in on you as well. Yeah. Just an offensive yeah, rocker. Like, yeah, she wasn't broken or anything, but she was such a good Pokemon to the tier. Um, so we will miss her. Uh, we understand why, why we're yeah. not going to see her anytime soon, but we will miss her. So, uh, Terrakion and Lycanroc are very interesting to me. Uh, I, well, because I honestly think that, well, out of the two, I think Lycanroc's better, which is funny. But offensively, I like Lycanroc a lot more, even though Terrakion yeah. is stronger. Um, but, yeah, this Terrakion set, uh, I use it a lot as well. Just Swords Dance, Rock Lead, Focus Sash. Rock Blast is cool for, like, well, was cool before for, like, anti-lead webs, like, or Bombi and stuff like that. You can break yep. through them. It's cool for breaking subs. Um you have a higher chance of hitting than you do Stone Edge as well. Um, <laughs> and eventually it ended up moving uh, to Yu Yu, which I think makes a lot of sense for this Pokemon as well. If we just look at yep. the, the current uh, the current Yu Yu tier, uh, it's a good breaker as well. And um, it does face competition in terms of a fighting type from like things like Conk and Blaziken. Uh, and Blaziken is actually being sus tested, uh, funnily enough. But the big thing about Terrakion is like it has that, that beautiful speed tier initially. And uh, also having like Justify is good for Pokemon like Crocodile and coming in on Moltres' attacks as well. And just being able to do that damage and that, that natural fire resist as well for, for Mons like Victini. And again, that speed tier makes a big difference. I think Bandit also can be solid in UU as well. And uh, do you want to cover anything that I might have missed? This was a good lead on offense as well. This was like, this was a good offensive lead. Yeah, like Terrakion was amazing in RU, um, like a rock as well. Um... Now, uh, now, the Lycanroc set I've listed is the set it ran in, I feel was best for it in RU, like the coverage for it, uh, mm. because Drill Run would cover Nidoqueen and Dewblade okay. uh, in one slot. Um, I don't think it will run that in UU, um, <laughs> because you don't need the uh, coverage uh, convention um, in that tier as much. Yeah. Uh, but I think both are going to be great, or will be very good in UU. We've kind of seen this with the uh, recent usage stats from the last year shift. They're very solidly UU at this point. Um, I feel like they would. It, I feel like at least Lycanroc would have been uh, quick ban uh, from RU if it had stayed easy, easy. in usage. Um, Terrakion might have lasted another slate just to see, um, like what would happen, like after Lycanroc left. Like, would it just take the place of Lycanroc? Which I think it would have. Um, but yeah, Lycanroc definitely would have gone. I think Terrakion would have gone, but. Uh, both of them left via usage. Uh, they'll both be good in UU as they should be because I don't feel like they should have dropped the RU in the first yeah, place. Yeah, period. Just, I, I mean, um, yeah, I also think that like Light Rock is like legitimately, if it's Bandit or even Life Orb, it's so, if you're using Balance, it's so hard to switch into. So hard to switch into because of its natural speed. Psychic Fangs is so big on this thing as well as Close Combat with Tough Claws. Like, I, I love Psychic Things. I love it so much because Mon's like Amoongus and things like that. The priority is amazing for for faster Pokemon. Like, this Mon is a huge balance breaker. Like, you can even run Crunch on it in UU2 um, for things like Slowking, which is big. Very big. Because uh, you're, you're smacking that thing. And, like, if it's a Salt Vest Tan Growth, it's being 2 a KO by, uh, by Stone Edge after Rocks. And if it's Bandit, it's always 2 a KOing anyway. So, like, it's like this Pokemon is yeah. incredibly hard. I would not be surprised. It was banned once from UU before. Um, or it was, it deserved, it, I think it was being, it was either slated or tested. I don't remember if it was banned. Oh, uh, yeah, like a rock was banned, yeah. Yeah, it was, okay, good. I was about to say, this Mon, another busted Mon, which is so cool to see that this like a rock is banned. Like, when you think of like a rock, right. and like that, yeah, it's, <laughs> you think of rock rough, right? You don't think it, but, because the other like rocks aren't as good, obviously, but tough claws. Oh, yeah, no close, yeah. Yeah. Close combat was such a really big godsend for this Pokemon. Yeah, like Tough Colossus in general was just so good for it. Yeah. Like, just boosting basically all of its moves except for like Stone Edge. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's huge. It was huge. Uh, you can get Tangrowth, which also yeah, recently Tangro... moved up to, uh, to UU. Yeah, yeah Tangrowth moves up to UU. We miss it a ton because it was like the primary uh, Zydog answer for the tier. Um, and and really, really just the check to basically pretty much any physical attacker with Rocky Helmet. Um, said I have listed like you need Giga Drain knockoff. I feel Leech Seed is the best utility move for it because it gives it passive recovery and uh, passively damages the opponent. 
um, unless they're a grass type, which most grass types don't really handle Tangrowth well anyway. Um, and then, you know, obviously I have Sludge Bomb to push like that 30% poison chance on common switch ends like uh, Entei and Chandler and Darmanitan that yeah. might try to take advantage of you. Uh, so it, puts, it can put them on a timer and really just other bulky Pokemon in general it can put on a timer as well. Yeah, um, I mean, and when you see uh, and when you see Pokemon like Lycanroc and and Terrakion moving up, right, and just all the physical attackers they have in, in UU itself, like it makes sense why Tangrowth would move up itself. You have Conk down there, which is not that this is a great answer to Conk because Post Comet was still to Akio, but you get Giga oh, Drain yeah. in the first one and then tank the next one. You pseudo check Bisharp as well if you want to run Earthquake. You could run Sleep, but like he mentioned, I love. Um, Leeched it a lot more. I think you get more out of it. And Knock is just yeah. amazing. Knock is just incredible. Getting rid of opposing Rocky Helmets, Boots, so good. Yeah, it's amazing utility. Um, and like I said, we miss it a lot because it was our primary Die Dog and uh, Zeru. I don't want to say primary Zeru answer, but it was a Zeru answer. But it was definitely our primary Die Dog answer. And that mod is crazy right now. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's. It's a crazy mod. It just clicks down there. That's why the root is like right up there with it. Yep. Like there, yeah, there exactly. are some of the better mods. And then you'll see like Toic is up there too, trying to pseudo check and everything as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Slow now, King, another mod that moved up. Yeah. Now, Slow King, um, I'm glad to see this rise up, honestly. Um, I feel like um, teleport into your preferred Guts user or Wall Breaker in general was just way too simplified of a play style in the tier um like it, it was kind of argued when um uh, conkelder kiram hackster they were being suspected that maybe they were the problem with slow king and i think i remember saying like yeah it'll be a little easier but it's not going to be much friendlier when heracross obstagoon yeah it, it doesn't it doesn't um, matter what it is. As, long, yeah, as, long as, like the, as long as the hard hitter that's why that's why future sight plus teleport is so good and regen it's that it's that whole combination actually it's yeah. not all of that it's future sight teleport regen and boots those are the four things that mm -hmm. make yeah. you know slow king and slow bro uh incredible at what they do and like you're you you have bring up a good point like is it the pokemon next to it that are broken or is it the teammate that is so easy to splash on and and slow king is amazing because like yeah even the popular defog mets like defog flamethrower roost uh draco in yu yu doesn't touch it right like Draco don't do that much and you just slack it off or teleport right out like it's it's really yeah. hard to break it's very yeah, hard to break. And, it's, uh... it's constantly just teleporting around yeah, a common thing I did uh, and I, you know, that I kind of brought up was uh, you could at least slow king turn one, teleport turn one, absorb whatever you turn or volt switch they like. Any attack, literally any attack they went up, like. and get in Heracross or Obstagoon, and boom, their flame orb is activated turn one. Yep, like for free, and now you have a pseudo status absorber on your team. Yep. Um, but yeah, overall, like I'm really glad Sloking left. I think it's really gonna help stuff like Milotic and Mantine be a lot better. Um, and Suicune, by extension, you, you can more freely use that because now uh, you can use Suicune without having to think, oh, I'm missing all the utility of Sloking by using Suicune. Even though Suicune is amazing on its own, there's still Sloking, which is amazing as well. Um, I feel Suicune is the absolute best bulky water in RU now, like, without a question. Um, but I think Milotic, Mantine, you can look to see those starting to rise out of NU in the next month or two. Um, because of the void Sloking left. Yeah, bulky water being taken. And obviously, again, Sloking's role is different because teleporting and future sighting yeah. are huge for breakers, but... Uh, overall, just having those bulky waters makes sense. Um, though, yeah, of course, I think my, I think uh, Miles Tech has a better chance because of Flip Turn, mm. uh, because it still gives you the uh, slow pivot out. The momentum, sure. yeah. yeah, like like it gives you the momentum Slow King gave. It just doesn't give the uh, simplified healing that Slow King gave because Slow King could just regenerate. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't have the same pressure Slow King had, but it, it at least gives the uh, momentum that Slow King. But gave. but what move do you give up? You don't give up Skull. You don't give up Recover. You, I don't think you give up Toxic either. So is it Haze that you give up to run that? Because Haze is part of what made my Lodic nasty too. You know, being yeah, able to it, it, it kind of depends on the team. Like I think Skull Recover are the two moves you definitely cannot give up no matter what. And then depending on the team, like if you have Toxic fight support, then yeah, you don't really need Toxic per se yeah. for the most part. 
Um, and if you have like um, like an unaware Pokemon or something that can deal with like set of sweepers that you wouldn't want Milotic dealing with, then you could give up Haze. Yeah. Uh, theoretically, like it's a tough choice. Yeah, but feasible. Okay. I can, I can see it. I'm I'm also glad it moved up though too because it was very annoying. Like. Yes. Uh, to <laughs> it was extremely extremely annoying to uh, have to deal with the uh, the stupid teleporting around and then giant yeah. breaker like again like lichen rock or like uh, not even lichen rock but there was a lot in R U that could just do hits like even even uh, freaking what's it called ha Zerud Heracross Obstacle yeah yeah Zerud. exactly 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 Zorkatry like yeah so many breakers in R U that slow King could facilitate because. I basically said at one point, like, as long as you have a breaker that halfway is halfway decent against Sloking switches, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, it doesn't really, even, it. it doesn't have to do damage. Like, it just has yeah. to do a little bit. Sloking can handle the rest. Yeah, exactly. Right, you have Glass Trier here? Yeah, so Glass Trier, um, it was okay last shift. Like, it dropped last shift. Um, but we got more uh, Trick Room uh, abusers, like, um, Stack Attack, uh, Lola Marowak, they dropped down this shift. Yeah. Um, the trick will get stronger, and, naturally. Yeah, and Glass Trier, like, I have a faster spread list in here for outside of Trick Room, like a sub-3 attack set. Uh, but obviously, if you're gonna use this in Trick Room, then by extension, just move the speed EVs over. To HP. And, yeah, um, but it can function outside of Trick Room, because it has really good coverage. And Ice is a pretty decent offensive type for the tier. Um, now, I don't think it's the most amazing thing out there. I don't think you're going to be seeing it in a ton of games. Um, and it very well could drop to NU, but I do feel the recent the uh, recent drops of uh, Stack Attack and Alola Marowak, which we'll get to in a moment, um, I feel like it, Trick Room is better, and by yeah. extension, that makes Glass Tree Air better. For sure. I mean, it's not, and Trick Room has a lot of options down there in the tier two. You can mm -hmm. pull a crush from NU as well. Uh, Same with Porygon too. Exactly, Oxy. So like you have options for Trick Room, Bronzong as well. Yeah. So like there's so many good options for Trick Room, and it, honestly, the biggest thing might just be like the other abusers overshadow, uh, because Marowak and specifically Stack Attack are really good Trick Room abusers. So yeah, um, Marowak has no switches. That's it. It doesn't. You, you still <laughs> actually get low kicks. So like there's absolutely no switches for that Pokemon when it comes to Trick Room. So it's about player yeah. answers. I do think that if this thing eventually falls down to NU slash anywhere more like like maybe maybe, maybe even not current and you because current and you actually has some decent actually no current and you yeah if it's well if it fell down to current and you i think it'd be nasty especially like a a banded set or again this yeah i think uh, set too. i think if it dropped it in you like that'd be amazing for it because that's where cresselia and Porygon 2 are so exactly. like you have your your trick room setting core glass right. air and i'm sure you could muster up a couple other things and have a really good trick room team yeah um but yeah overall i I think last year it it might not say are you, but it's definitely better equipped than it was last year's shift, and it stayed are you last year's shift, so it very well could stay are you. Reggie Diego's drop was really cool because um, the uh, the fairy types in the tier, they're not like they don't live forever. I guess that's the sense. And when it comes to Reggie Diego, right? You don't have combine yeah. draining kiss Tabufini. You have combine draining kiss Klefki, right? Guard of War <laughs> actually takes status and damage. Toad Kiss, yep. while it doesn't take rocks, you actually have a super effective ancient power, which makes a huge difference. And then Weezing doesn't have the best special defense, so Reggie Drago actually might not suck. Like, <laughs> like I mean, obviously there's Mimikyu too, like in terms of fairies, and you can pull some fairies from the lower tiers as well, uh, like yeah, Slurp Off, I guess if you want to, or Comfy, yeah, still, or whatever. Still beyond. Yeah, yeah, Kivion's a big one. That's what I didn't mention for sure. Uh, but yeah, this mod might not suck. And I like the modest as well. I don't think there's a point in speed time with Gardevoir. <laughs> like, I yeah, don't, like I don't what are you doing? Like, 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 you don't want to stay. Maybe they'll be at five percent at a point, and then you can kill them with ancient power if you win right. your speed time. Uh, <laughs> but I, I like this a lot. I think modest is really good. I think the big thing about this Pokemon is that while it doesn't have the best special defense and defense, it's 200 base HP makes up for everything. So it's not dying to most hits, and like that's really important when it comes to like. Oh, like eating a Digger's Bees uh, body slam and then just KOing it back with a Dragon Pulse type of thing, you know? Like, yeah. the Dragon's Maw, choice specs, and it's it's 
100% accurate 85 you know damage move is actually really nice like obviously dragon energy yeah. it just feels so good when you you're at full HP and you can throw it off and uh, another exactly. cool thing you can do as well is like you can still do trick ring target too um, oh yeah for you can sure. still do and, and you have keys down here too which is pretty big and, and Zorark as uh, uh, is Zorark in you or yeah Zorark is in you right exactly. now so, so you can pull that. it out you can pull yeah, it yeah and there's no misty terrain naturally to uh, to mm -hmm. weaken your attack even more so I think that's also an option with this and there's, there's a lot of buns in this tier that can actually use trick uh, ring target I think effectively as well like that will that will lure in uh, some fairies or, or anything like that so I think it's a really cool option for this Pokemon I I think it's gonna be okay in the tier. I think there's a lot of demons in this tier, but <laughs> being able to just take yeah. on bulky mons like right Perrier, Seismitoad, uh, eating a natural hit from Thunderous, you know, Zerkatry even like eating a dazzling gleam at least one, uh, and, or just like a close combat from Kobali and then KOing him back with you know Draco Meteor is really cool. Really interesting Pokemon. Like it's very hit or miss. Uh, like I would not recommend it to a new RU player uh, because I feel like it requires a lot more skill and knowledge of the tier to use. Or you um, just team matchup luck. <laughs> like yeah, but but like if you're like a more experienced player and you're wanting to try something out that can be really cool if you support it well, um, then yeah, I think Reggie Drago can be that. Uh, you obviously have to look out for fairy types and. Yeah, like Registeel is annoying. Um, but barely, but, but, but oh, not too much. Because like if you pair with Gardevoir and you trick Registeel, like that damage is not being recovered. Oh, yeah. yeah, like it's it's still good against Registeel because like uh, it's, it kind of goes back to the uh, discussion we had with Scolipede earlier, like not running Earthquake for Registeel. Like Registeel is, is taking hits naturally anyway. So if you overload it, it's pretty easy to get through it. Yep. I'm, I'm just running the calc real quick on just... Uh... Standard Registeel, uh, are you also? I know I've seen some that run mixed defenses because of uh, Zarud and stuff, but uh, Dragon Energy to max special defense, max HP Registeel is a uh, hundred percent chance to three a KO after leftovers recovery. So yeah, just to let you know, yeah. like you're doing thirty seven to forty three percent. So if you knock it, you trick it, you, you status it with burn, or you oh, paralyze yeah. it so it never moves. Like you have, <laughs> you have a lot going for you when it comes to this Pokemon. Yeah, for sure. Like it, it's. It's basically like uh, X Cloud was pre DLC, except there there is an immunity that you have to account for. Yep. Like pretty much, if you resist this, like you don't technically resist it because you have one switching yep. essentially before you're two AK. You want to take Cobalion? Yeah, Cobalion. Oh man, I am so happy this is back in Ari. Such a great addition. Uh, I agree. Like it has been since Oras since Cobalion has been RU, and it was amazing then. Like, it was my favorite Pokemon in the tier then. Um, and the spread I actually have listed is the spread I used back then. Um, it's more geared towards support, although you can obviously run max attack on this yeah. if you wanted to. Which, which I love too. Yeah. Um, or it's just Stealth Rock Sword Stance. Um, but overall, like, Cobalion is really good for offensive teams. I think it's going to be a great addition to the tier. Um... I have a Shooka Berry listed, so like you can take Earthquakes from like Rhyperior and Flygon, Thousand Arrows from Zygarde and a Pinch, um, like that sort of thing. So yeah, overall I think it's really good for offense, bulky offense, even balance I think can make good use of it. Um, you mentioned Swords Dance, I can definitely do that, it's got Stone Edge. I think it's biggest, your it's biggest types. thing is it's like it's faster than Zarude, and one of Zarude's mm -hmm. moves gives it an attack raise. The other one is still power up. So actually, like, while well, you have base 91 HP and base 129 uh, defense, obviously, if Zerud is bulked up enough, it will do damage with power whip. It'll probably start doing 30% right. or something. But, like, the fact that you're faster, you can Swords Dance up against it. And uh, I should have put RU as a tier. That way it's a little bit easier to show people. There you go. That should be good. <laughs> Where is it? And uh, you have a, a fighting type that is, that is decently fast. That's also part steel, so it has good coverage for fairies. Like... The entire tier is hit by this Pokemon plus Stone Edge, besides the Blade. I think that's it. It's just yeah, and Blade. and the Blade is not even that common right now. Like it, uh, it's in an awkward place where it has a hard time setting up on stuff and has to choose between Sacred Sword and Shadowfall, which is not a decision it likes making. Uh, or close combat Sacred Sword, sorry, or yeah. close combat uh, Shadowfall. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, like it's not the most common Pokemon. Maybe maybe it'll start rising up now that Cobalion's in this year. That remains to be seen. I guess we'll see. But at least as of last year's shift, it was not a very common sight. Uh, 
I'm surprised so, he actually yeah. uh, stayed. So yeah, Kabalion is uh yeah, really good. Um Stealth Rock support, Sword Saint Sweeper. Um I don't know how viable Calm Mine would be, but I guess it has that if you really want to. I liked it with Z moves back in the day, and I guess if you don't want to be revenge kill by like Scarf Gardevoir and stuff, it's interesting. I just like it because it's a fighting type that doesn't die to Crobat. Yeah, like that is so huge for the Swords Dance set. Um and the speed tier is great, like you said. Like it's a natural check to uh the uh Heavy Duty Boots Pivot, uh, Zeru said that's been cropping up to deal with Suicune because it runs jungle healing over uh, close combat yep. um, to deal with Suicune. So it's a good answer to most Zeru sets now outside of Choice Scarf. Even Choice Scarf, it's not when it KOing you with close combat. Yep. Like, and, it's such a hard, and it's such a hard move for it to click because it's so easy to switch into with other mods. Yep. Ooh, big Marowak now. I mean, we have this one. I actually don't like Stealth Rock on Marowak because I feel like it's the type of mon that you always want to click attack with. Yeah, you, it's like you can definitely run something else over it, yeah. Yeah, low kick is decent here, I think. Yeah. Uh, I also don't like Swords Dance either because if you're clicking Swords Dance, you're wasting a Trick Room turn. Uh, yeah. I think low kick or knock off are a good substitute here. Substitute is also a decent move, I guess. And the only reason I like Substitute is if you're running it on Trick Room because if Trick Room's about to end, they might sack something. Uh, that might be slower than you, or not necessarily slower than you, but that they might not be able to break your sub, right? Like it's a yeah. 10% type of mon or a mon of stealth rock type of thing. So uh, substitute's a co-option. But Marowak, one of the strongest um, trick room abusers out there. Also, if you're not running Rockhead, you can run Lightning Rod and then you have a Zergatry check all in one, yeah. which is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, basically a Zergatry counter because you resist everything in that. Yeah, and it does have tail um, to like smack you. Yeah, like overall, uh, I'd like to speed your spread listed for outside of trick room. Um, but yeah, like it is one of the top trick room abusers in the tier for sure. Um, heck, you can even run like if you want to just run four attacks, you can run fire punch in the last slot just so you have a fire move to use that doesn't uh kill your HP if you choose to run lightning rod. Yeah, um, but yeah, overall, I love the idea of this Pokemon like being on trick room, even outside of trick room, like it's not an easy Pokemon to switch into. It's crazy that um, they gave a Pokemon with probably one of the best physical ghost moves anyway in Shadow Bone, and even like a, a, a way to abuse was, a stronger yeah. like physical yeah, ghost. Move. Guys. Yeah, because po Shadow Bone's amazing. Uh, can like, yeah, it has a secondary effect. Uh, it has 100% accuracy. Has great like power. Like, it's good, right? Like yeah. it's right behind Spectral Thief in terms of uh, good ghost physical moves, just because there aren't too many. Uh, right. But like, them mm -hmm. giving us Poltergeist this gen was crazy, crazy for Marowak. Yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, it's gonna. Uh, I'll be interested to see like uh, teams that crop up with it, like Trick Room or even outside of Trick Room. Yeah. Um, because like it can function outside of Trick Room, not as well, obviously, but um, uh, it can still function outside of Trick Room pretty nicely. Yeah. And like, like, uh, it definitely has to compete with Chandelier outside of Trick Room, which is why I feel it does better in Trick Room. Um, I wish they get a Shadow Sneak, dude. That that'd be crazy. Like <laughs> Swords awesome. and Shadow Sneak, Flare Blitz, Poltergeist. Um, guys. Oh man. Um, but yeah, like, oh, yeah, overall, damage. really fun Pokemon. Yep, and pairs really well with the next Pokemon that we have here, which is Trick Room Stack Attack. Uh, we have this set, obviously, with Brave Nature. Uh, you don't even need this. This the reason why you don't even need the Lonely Nature with like the defense or the minus defense so you can get attack is because Body Press is such a spammable move. It's yeah. so spammable, and being able to boost your defense after every kill giving you an even stronger fighting style before i had sewer power and it had to raise its attack and lower its attack you know so it wasn't really doing much for it but this is a good one there's also chopple which is a pretty cool one it's really it's really mm -hmm. nice being able to live like a close combat for a pokemon or anything like that uh, and then yeah, you, can all, you, can all, you can also run shuka as well so yep. like a random earthquake um there's also like if you don't want to use it in trick room or like i said directly offensive pokemon um it can still function as a good stealth rock setter yeah uh, like leftovers death. protect um yeah and you might think why the hell would i use that over registeel the, the biggest thing is you have body press well registeel also can run body press but you have the gyro ball offensive pressure or rock blast even so you can actually beat crowbat whereas registeel will just lose because of brave bird and yeah roost and yeah Superfan. like like basically um i, I kind of like yeah, it competes with Registeel, but the big thing is that uh, it has an offensive presence, which Registeel does not, so it's more conducive to like bulky offense teams. And it's a whereas cool, Registeel it's a cool is kind of more restricted to balance or assault teams. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So this could work. Uh, I know back in the day we used it to check Mega Pidgeot in UU. Mm -hmm. 
really really fun mon uh, to use also check Lottie and things like that too but great out oh, great addition to trick room uh, just like <laughs> smack my leg against my neck a great addition to trick room and um your your legs are not made of steel sorry <laughs> <laughs> it didn't actually hurt it's just like i instinctively say ow all the time like just because i don't know why yeah but like, I, I, whatever like, i'll walk into a wall and i'll be like ow but like like, I forget about it. Anything, like, yeah. I like a goldfish. Forget about it a second later. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you want to cover Volcanion? Yeah, so Volcanion is the uh, WTF drop that we had from the last tier sheds, like uh, Sakataka, Alola Marowak, Kobalion. We were kind of expecting to drop because yeah. they were close to dropping the last tier shift. The Volcanion kind of came out of nowhere. Um, and it's really fun. Um, I'm not, I don't want to say it's broken yet. Uh, but it's definitely very fun. Um, the set I've listed here is the, like defog three attacks with heavy duty boots. Um, really, it's a really good defogger because like almost none of the stealth rock users want to come in on this yeah. at all um, to try to reset stealth rock. Um, and you can also run like a sub three attack set or sub toxic or even choice specs if you want to dial it up to eleven. Um, I feel Troy Specs is kind of its weakest set because it doesn't offer any utility and you have to provide it more support because like the subset, the defog set listed, they can run heavy duty boots. Um, so you don't need stealth rock uh, spun away or defogged or whatever. Uh, so yeah, overall, I like Volcanion. I don't know if it's broken yet or not. Uh, just need more time with it. But it's definitely really good. Yeah, exactly. And again, just to reiterate Specs, like, while Specs probably isn't as strong just because like Chandelier has stronger coverage uh, in terms of Ghost Fire, mm -hmm. Ghost Fire plus um, Grass coverage, Energy Ball, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, the higher speed tier as well, like just having to take Stealth Rock, and it still does benefit though from the fact that Sloking is gone. That's a big thing though. That's a really big definitely thing. Yeah. the fact that there's mm -hmm. no Sloking and there's no there's no Slow Bro down here. So uh, that basically covers the RU tier slash. Uh, UU, UU uh, rises. rises. So now we're going to go into the NU tier now. And I know it's crazy when you see Heracross and NU, but yeah, we're going to go to yeah, the, uh, the NU tier. Right yeah, now. most of these are actually uh, recent bans from NU. So we're yep. going to talk about how they perform in RU currently. Yep. Um, but there are a few drops included that you'll see at the end, kind of like how we did with RU. Uh, but yeah, Heracross, um, it's definitely really good in RU right now. Um, it hasn't risen to RU by usage yet but expected to very soon uh it's incredibly good um uh, moose set we have listed here close combat knockoff facade stone edge with flame orb yes stone edge so you can Oko, uh, destroy togekiss Thank you. Yep. also togekiss as well yep. um because unless the scars togekiss cannot outspeed you and yeah stone edge crushes uh crowbat on the switch in but you do have to catch on the switch in because it does outspeed you and you are not living that brave bird i don't care how bulky you try to make it um but yeah it's a really good breaker and has coverage for its limited checks i would not be surprised if this gets suspect tested in the future once the meta settles down so oh for sure bro because if we're talking are you yeah i mean it's the same thing this is a mod that's going to eventually well it's hard to say if it will eventually rise up to uu because of the way power creep is now and the way uu tier is formed like i mean i don't yeah. know if you looked at nu like if you look the top 10 usage and you could have easily been UU last generation, like what was there, like Mian Shao and, and Starmie and things like that. So it's really tough to tell, but yeah, this is definitely something that I could see in that tier, especially as the tier starts to ban things. And just Heracross's speed tier is really good. Base 85 is a, is a solid speed tier. Like I think anything over base 80 is something to just be like, oh, okay, that's something I have to keep an eye out for because there's so many Pokemon on base 80. Uh, the big mm -hmm. ones are Togekiss and Gardevoir. Um, so yeah. like just being faster than those and being able to threaten them at Stone Edge is a big one in that case as well, especially because of boots too. Like Yep, exactly. Yeah. Uh indeed. Yeah, yeah, basically yeah, basically Stone Edge makes it to where you don't have to protect Ogre Kiss. Yeah, at all. Like yeah. you can still throw whatever you want. Yeah. Uh then we have so, Indeedy. Yeah, so Indeedy also uh, yeah, Indeedy also recently got a quick ban from Inu. Uh this is male. I by expect the way, guys. it to Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is indeed email. Uh, indeed female, uh, we'll go over later. Um, you see but, the tier uh, that's in two? It's male insane. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I don't agree with that, but, <laughs> um, indeed email, uh, I, again, another one I expect to rise to RU by usage relatively soon. 
Uh, it's your typical. It, it. I mean, you know what it does. It it uh, destroys stuff with expanding force. Whatever resist you have, it has coverage for, or it can just trick it to cripple it for another teammate. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, you just click expanding force with this Pokemon. Uh, mm -hmm. no, so granted, yep. the uh, again, this got banned, so you can use an argument up. Uh, granted, the RU tier does have a few dark types, but again, the I think the big thing about Ndidi is its speed tier. That 317 yeah. is so, so nice. So, like, even yeah. Mons, like, uh, obstacle, if you want to use it in the tier, of course, which is obviously right here, uh, having to worry about being speed tied, and then, like, it just, it's just so easy to span expanding force. And the fact that they gave this Mon Mystical Fire is the biggest mm -hmm. thing. Like, the ability to hit steals, and I'm not talking about hitting steals with neutral, with something whack like Shadow Ball or Dark Pulse yeah, coverage yeah, or whatever. They it gave is it super effective. Yeah, they gave it super effective Mystical Fire. So, and then you could cripple Umbreon yeah. with tricks. So like it's it's it's, a, it's another another strong mod for the tier. And the thing is, are you and below has all the unburdened mods, like uh, Hitmonlee. Yeah. And it, uh, and Sceptile. Yep, yeah, Sceptile. Uh, the freaking Slurpuff. Slurpuff. So like, they're all mods that you can use uh, when pair with this mod too. And then, and even like think go a little bit further with that. Uh, I fought Indeedy plus Starmie. And it was Spec Starmie with uh, it was Scarf and Didi and Spec Starmie with Expanding Force, mm -hmm. or like Terrain Accelerator yeah. and Didi plus Spec Starmie with Expanding Force. And this Starmie is a big one, especially because you you couple in Expanding Force. Uh, if you have Expanding Force, bulky waters do not switch it on Starmie. Period. Uh, especially nope. if you specs, and you have the <laughs> you get the analytic boost as well. So like this is a, a pretty big uh, ban and it makes sense as well. And I think it's uh, definitely underrated in the tier above it. Are you? Yep. Speaking of another underrated RU Pokemon, I have no idea why this hasn't really This Mon gets banned RU every single time from RU. Every single time from RU. <laughs> yeah, uh, it should have been banned in black and white. It somehow wasn't, but it really should have been. Uh, but yeah, Durant, uh, Life Orb 4 attacks. Um, it clicks first impression to kill stuff when it comes in. Then it's got coverage for when you try to switch in. Great speed tier. Even that is a good defense stat to like take a physical hit when it absolutely has to, uh, as long as it's not like Flare Blitz or Sacred Fire or something. Um, but yeah, overall, really fun Pokemon. Um, and another one that I'll kind of lump in with Heracross. I can see this being suspect tested down the line. Yeah. Uh, I think also something that's not used as much, but Scarf actually isn't bad uh, with its overall coverage and the good speed tier. I used to use Scarf Swarm back in the day. It sucked, but like when you use Scarf Hustle, you actually <laughs> hit. Amazing. And I, I think yeah. it's really also something appropriate to look at because, again, let's look at the RU tier. In terms of Scarfers, uh, nothing nothing is faster than you that runs Scarf. That will run Scarf, yeah, no. nothing is faster than you. Faster than Scarf Zerg Tree, faster than potentially Scarf Zerud, uh, faster than Scarf Togekiss. And these are all mods you can, you can knock out. Like with yeah, fa with faster than uh, Scarf Me and Shao as well, yeah. which, is really good, yeah. which is really good in RU, yeah. Yeah, and Guard of War 2. So uh, big, big addition. Uh, there and then and, all, and, and also on, and also on those scarfers, um, none of them handle first impression well at all. Yep. So Abandoned like you can, yeah. yeah, like like or life orb, like you can just bring it in like on a scar, like a scarf Saru locked in the darkest Larry. You don't care, you're killing it. <laughs> yep. I like that Lan Noon was banned uh, from from menu. Uh, yeah. This is also a mod that we looked at before in the past and argue as well. Uh, not this generation, but. Even before, obviously, Lanoon doesn't care about the. Uh... Well, I mean, it sucks that they nerfed the berries because Lanoon used to be at full HP <laughs> after. Yeah. Uh, but it's still just as good. Still just as good, right? Throw Chop, Extreme Speed, Stomping Tantrum. It's the exact same thing. I said those E speeds and that base 100 speed, huge for it. And Stomping Tantrum is so big, being able to deal with the steals. You have Throw Chop there for Bronzong or Ghost types in general. Like Delmize that resist this, Decidueye, whatever the hell resist those. I'm just yeah. naming Pokemon that resist. Uh, or they can take yeah. the hits and um, yeah another another sweeper that got banned from NU which is cool when you see what's in the NU tier so it, it, it's yeah. interesting um, yeah this is this is one um, like it's not really that good in RU right now it's just because of the uh, what like what's common mm. like it just has a hard time finding places to set up um, because it needs to set up to really reach its potential um like Durant doesn't have to set up, Heracross doesn't have to set up, and Didi doesn't have to set up, but uh, Lanoon kind of does to really reach its potential. 100% but, does. But still, like if if it manages to, like it will win a game, yeah. <laughs> like straight up. Yep. Uh, but it's but I feel it's a little too inconsistent in in RU right now to really 
kind of be prominent, but that doesn't mean that with future meta shifts and bans and stuff like that, that it can't be. So uh, definitely one to look out for later, but I wouldn't um, like I wouldn't say it's like super good right now, but it definitely has the tools to be later. Agreed. Uh, speaking of something that was so surprising to see in any of you, but uh, like My boy it makes Lucario. sense. Yeah, like oh man, how the mighty have fallen. I mean, the mighty fell even yeah. more if you look at PU right now. But <laughs> Luke is probably one of the better late game sweepers that we've been seeing it put in work since Gen Four. Uh, with fairy typing coming out, it's steel type actually got a lot better. You can definitely um, mix meteor definitely match, run meteor match. yeah, over like, over crunch, and you could probably you could probably try and use double priority as well, bullet punch if you wanted if something like Aerodactyl uh, has high like usage yeah. at a point. But yeah, if you look at the uh, if if you look at the the NU tier before, like there was just so this mod has such a good speed tier too. Base ninety again, it's a good speed tier. It's a good speed tier for yeah. a fast. It's a fast fighting type. That just doesn't like this type of mod that you get it in, you just click close combat, you two a key or something, mm -hmm. whatever your coverage will be. Yeah, the uh, the uh, problem in you had with it, and I think this will kind of come as a shock to pretty much anyone that knows Lucario, but the problem in you had with it is the fact that the uh, Swords Dance physical set um, didn't have to run Swords Dance to still kill stuff. Yep. Just close uh, combat and like extreme speed, or yep. yep. Yeah, like, like you could throw Meteor Mash over Swords Dance and it would still kill what it needed to kill. Um, and it still had Nasty Plot. Like, it could run Nasty Plot down there. It has a harder time running Nasty Plot in RU uh, because there's a lot. The uh, special defensive mons are a lot tankier there uh -huh. than they are in NU. But uh, yeah, overall, like, that's kind of the problem that you had with it. Like, you had Sword Saints, you had Nasty Plot, and then you just had random Life Orb 4 attacks where it didn't need a turn to set up. Um, so, ultimately, like, Lucario, I'm kind of lumping it with Linu, Um in that I, I don't think it's too great in RU right now because it has a hard time setting up, but it has the tools for um, future metas where it has easier times setting up so yeah, just clicking buttons like honestly like even if you look yeah. at top 10 mon uh it, yeah like, like oh yeah if it gets thin like it's like you better have an answer for it because it's gonna hurt if you don't yeah i like how poltergeist like, it, it, mm -hmm. uh, like, it, it's similar similar in a sense like not yeah. the easiest time setting up though it can set up on special attackers and i mean the big thing about poltergeist is that a good dark type will, will beat it right like obstacle if it's at yeah. full hp it'll beat it right umbreon which is in the tier in in ru it'll beat it 1v1 hmm. they have priority as well you have mimic you to check type of thing and then you have um lax as well in terms of normal types that can eat hits and zarud is another yep. mod so are you i don't think it's gonna be broken in ru it won't. I don't think it'll no. be anything crazy in RU, uh, but I do think that it'll stay in UBL for a little while. Um, I think that's yeah. kind of where it's just going to be. Yeah, I, f I feel like like this is the first one we're going over that I really don't know has a place in RU because of what you mentioned, like all the Pokemon that check it. You look at Saru, you look at Snorlax, you look at Umbreon. Uh, these are all common Pokemon. Like These aren't like, you'll see them like maybe top 25 top 30 in usage you're talking Zeru, the number one pokemon in the tier Storlax, top 10 in the tier umbreon i think it's like top 20 top 25 in the tier like these are very common pokemon you're going to run into most games yeah if so that, if natural checks that, that, are around yeah yeah pulse the guys just can't hand like it needs them out like for the most part it needs them outright removed or brought really low which for Cheers. umbreon and Snorlax, which have recovery that's not easy to do Zeru's starting to run jungle healing for Suicune so it's able to yeah. sustain itself better so it's just really hard for it like its checks are bulky and uh, able to sustain themselves throughout a battle crazy this model was at a point busted in UU but that was because of Dynamax man my chair is pissing me off like help me <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I keep trying to move Do I need talk to it's help like, yeah it's just it's pissing me off anyway but yeah it's a model like I said I think go stay at um, NUBL uh, I love Sharpedo, I love the fact that they gave it flip turn and close combat. I think flip turn is a big thing because it's like a budget Barrascuta in a sense. Like you can wear down your switchings and then late yeah. game clean up. And you have Mystic Water here because you're running double water, but you can also run Life Orb with close combat, Liquidation Crunch, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Protect. And you can also run Special as well, like some Mix Hydro Pump, Ice Beam uh, type of thing, depending on uh, what you are fighting. But again, another Mon that typically gets banned uh, from RU. And because NUBL has a lot of RU Pokemon, that uh, because NU has a lot of RU Pokemon, it makes sense that this Durant and well, 
Jigalji. Our mons that you typically see banned from RU. Um, surprise, Jigalji isn't anything broken uh, at the moment in the tier, but I guess uh, the tier is a lot of cool Pokemon. They have Bronze on it, but even then, and there's no pursuits, so that makes sense as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's like the like core a, of mons you see broken. Mm hmm. Yeah, like Sharpedo, like I have a set listed for Sharpedo that I feel like got it uh, banned in Inu uh, because it didn't need necessarily need coverage in Inu. Uh, like the steel types were Bronzong, Copperaja. Like you can handle those with your stabs without needing close combat. Uh, like Copperaja is super vulnerable to getting worn down by flip turns. Um, Bronzong obviously weak to crunch. So, like, in RU, I do feel you need close combat because, um, like, you have Registeel, you have um, Zerud. Umbreon, like, you have Zerud. Like, I feel you do need close combat. Like, the set list, it was, like, for why it got banned in Inu, uh, I feel. But, yeah, you definitely want close combat. And I feel that's kind of why we really haven't seen it rise to RU by usage yet, is that it can't flip turn easily, uh um, like, like it could in Inu. Now, I feel like eventually it will rise to RU by usage, and whether it's broken or not, I think kind of depends on um, like how good Kobalion and Zerud are, because you kind of want to run mix to hit Kobalion with Hydro Pump, because it has the physical bulk to take a liquidation from pretty decent health, um, and it can run Chopple for close combat, but... Um, it just kind of depends on that as to whether like it'll be super broken or not, or just really, really good. Like I feel like at worst it's gonna be really, really good. Yeah, I, I can't like, see it being oh, less later. Currently, like currently. Um, yeah, currently no. Future maybe. It kind of, like it just depends on what's still in the tier uh, um, and what's gone back to UU. But right now, like it's definitely not super busted. But I do feel it. It's solid and has potential to be even better. Yep. I love that Slurpuff is still crazy. Even though it can't run Return or Frustration, it has to run Facade. I, I love yeah. that. I love that about it. I mean, it's the same thing. It's Belly Drum. Set up your screens. You do whatever. You get this Mon in. You set up and win. Like, it's not hard to end game with this Pokemon. And the fact that if, even if they burn you, you just Facade through the majority of teams. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Slurpuff. Uh, I'll kind of lump it with Linoon. Um, and somewhat Lucario, but more so Linoon, it really needs to set up to be a true threat. And are you, and it just has a difficult time with that. But like with Linoon, if you're not prepared for it, you will lose. <laughs> like straight up, you will lose. But it's pretty easy to handle it. Like you have Galarian Weezing, uh, you have, you can dip down in you, you find Vile Plume. Uh, like there's plenty of there's Zong good as well, chilling down there too. So like. Yeah, so like you have a good counterplay to it available that with genuinely good Pokemon, um, but it's it's still a threat. If you're not prepared for it, it will take your Pokemon and take the game from you. Uh, so you definitely still want to prepare for it, but it's generally easy to prepare for it. You don't have to like bend over backwards trying yeah, to prepare for it. Uh, but it was it was a threat, and I remember I remember yeah. watching. It. It's always been a threat in lower tiers, like legitimately. Mm -hmm. This mod's been threat like in Yu Yu in the past too. Like, it's a crazy mod. Uh, we have Torn oh, yeah. here as well with Nasty Plot, Weather Ball, Hurricane, and Rain Dance. I like the, I like to set up the rain for yourself so your hurricanes don't miss and your Weather Ball becomes uh, water. water. It, this yeah. actually now Torn actually moved to NU for the first time this shift. Yeah, if yeah, I'm it right. is not banned currently. Yeah. Like as we were talking, it is not banned currently, and Drizzle is allowed in NU. Yep, as we were talking. Yep. Um, now, now that could change by the time this video goes up or the next day or something like that, but. Um, as of the moment we are talking, Drizzle is allowed, and so is Tornadus. Yes. Uh, Tornadus is super good, especially in rain, because you have perfectly accurate hurricanes, you have water-type weather ball, which hits really hard, 150 base power. Um, pretty much means you don't really need co any more coverage than that, which is why you can reset the rain yourself instead of having going back into Politoed or something like that. And you can still run Nasty Plot to sweet teams. Yep. I mean, that's a big thing. Specs can work too. If you want uh, the freaking... I mean, this go... mon paired with the next mon. You basically have Politoed with it. That's that's it. Yeah. That, yeah. They, they... And uh, you, can, you can definitely run a mix set outside of rain, like Hurricane, Superpower, Knockoff, Grass Knot, something like that. Yeah, just to disrupt. Um, really just using it. Yeah. Mon to disrupt. Yeah, I like Superpower over Heat Wave in... Um, 
in uh, in you because like your steel types are typically especially defensive like Kaparaja, uh, Bronzong. They're typically spit death instead of fist death, and you have knockoff for Bronzong anyway. Yep. So like superpower, and it can also superpower can also hit Porygon too. Like after you've knocked off its Violite. So overall, yeah, Tornado is really really good. And in you, I would not be surprised to see a quick ban. I definitely expect Drizzle to be quick ban pretty soon from in you. So use it while you can. <laughs> yep, big mon. I mean, we have Polito, like I said. So this mon fell down the PU. Uh, that's because NU has it. Uh, no, no. Is it NU? It was a. It's it's a it's, it's a, P, it's P, P, has right now. Yeah, PU has Drizzle banned. I know that much. PU has Drizzle yeah. banned. Yeah. So this PU is has a, Drizzle banned. Yeah. NU does not. Yeah. And you and you freeze their entire. Uh, and the reason it's not banned currently is because once the uh, big. Uh, drop for NU happened with uh, DLC. They unbanned everything in NUBL, which included Drizzle. The only thing is, Politoed was RU at the time, which is yeah. why they haven't done anything about it yet, but I expect that in very short order. Um, but yeah, Politoed, it just sets the rain, status of stuff, prevents setup with Haze and or Encore, has Parish Song if you want that as well. Uh, as an option. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's basically just your it sets the rain, it supports, it hangs around as long as it can to keep the rain in the face of like hail or sand. Uh, drought is banned in, in you, so you won't be seeing that. But you'll still see like Gigalith, Obama Snow, like those types of teams. And you just want Polito to outlast them. And then after that, you set up rain one last time and let your uh, abusers go to work. Yep. Obviously, Pelipper is better because it can U turn. That's the big thing. It has longevity. Mm hmm. I like Are You Obstagoon. Tell me about Are You Obstagoon. Are You Obstagoon is amazing. So it is now Are You by Usage. Uh, it was banned by NU, um, but it's Are You by Usage now. Um, it's the only NU ban that rose to Are You in the last shift, but it is really good. It's got a great speed tier, base 95, stab facade, stab knockoff. Um, I have Switcheroo listed uh, mainly due to the fact that um it just screws over so many things uh because once you get your uh burn from the flame work then you trick it to something else and maybe pick up leftovers from something or heavy duty boots from something yeah. and it just makes you last longer and you're still hitting and you're still hitting like you need to oh my god when you get leftovers and your burn is being canceled out every single time exactly whew. Man, I love. There's no better feeling than that, and disrupting yeah, something you, as well. Yeah, or even getting like heavy duty boots from something like a Zarude or a Togekiss. Switching like uh, like on the why on the why Zarude was switching, maybe predicting a knockoff or something. But uh, Togekiss mainly, or uh, like a Galarian Weezing, uh, that are running like heavy duty boots, and you get that from them, and boom like now you're not taking hazard damage like you still might take burn damage but now you don't have to worry about stealth rock or spikes or anything like that or even a sticky web yep and then we uh, got you can uh, still run obstruct like you can still run obstruct but i like switcheroo a lot more in the yeah and I, I think i think bulk up has higher use than obstruct anyway like in terms of yeah yeah like viability oh yeah like, like yeah mm -hmm. I, I love the idea of crippling and, something we, we mentioned uh registeel before but like i mean obviously knocking and close commenting but uh, initially like just crippling something like that like just a bulky steel type as well for like your, yeah. your reggie drago or whatever is coming in Oof. or or fairy type like the fairy types are gonna try to check off the game because they resist knockoff and close combat boom you burn them with a flame orb and take away like heavy duty boots or leftovers now they're a lot easier to wear down yep and uh and uh about Umbreon? last Pokemon on, yeah, last Pokemon of the year. Umbreon, I'm a little surprised this rose. Um, not that I'm complaining, I do think it's a genuinely good Pokemon, but I yeah. thought it would take a little longer to rise up. Um, but it's a really good special sponge in general. Um, I have leftovers listed. You can actually run heavy duty boots on this because it is prone to getting worn down by hazards and volt switch and having to switch right back out. So you can definitely run heavy duty boots on this. Um, and then you have the typical moveset, Wish, Foul Play, Heal Bell, Protect. Um, you can run other stuff over Protect and Heal Bell. You can run Toxic, you can run Moonlight. Um, 
But yeah, it's just your general special sponge. If it can't be hit super effectively, it's hard to um, knock out in one hit, much less two. Um, just it's good. Like it's good support. It's generally going to be on more balanced than stall teams because that's just his nature. And foul play makes sure if there's like a source dance user that doesn't resist it. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I love how it's like the ultimate Necrozma check. Like, Necrozma yeah. will not break this Pokemon. Even if it's Dragon, it's like brick break type of thing. They're just making it worse because your foul plays are stronger. And you can run Spadef, uh, obviously. Spadef is cool. Um, physically defensive also works as well. And that'll let you better check mm -hmm. Zydog and, and things like that. Zerud. Yeah, Zerud. Uh, especially if you're running Toxic and you're not jungle healing. Uh, the blade is a big one too, uh, but honestly, you'd check the blade either way as long as they swords dance. So, um, yeah, yeah, and like diggers being stuff like that. So, uh, although your damage is weird with foul play versus diggers be because uh, it would take into yeah, it's a regular, not its huge power boost. So it's actually a weaker foul yeah. play. It's really, it's really weird the way it works. But a foul play is also really weird. Like the fact that if your opponent's burnt, it, it it'll do less. If you're burnt, it'll do less too. Even though it's based yeah, on the it's, opponents, it's, it's a weird move. <laughs> yeah, it is a really weird move, but that kind of covers the uh, the RU um, as well as NU like bands, but mods that are also good in RU. And uh, I believe mm -hmm. uh, next up we have the PU slash NU, right? Yeah, the, the, well, these are all PU drops. Yeah, but um, but also can be PU. Viable, PU yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, basically, all these Pokemon that we're going to go over a little bit are PU currently. Yes. Uh, so we're primarily going to be focusing on that, but also going to be talking about if they have roles in NU and if we expect them to rise back up to NU via usage. And the first one is Absol. Um, Absol, I don't see switch ins for this Pokemon in PU. I really don't. Not at all. I love how this <laughs> is also sucker punchless, but I mean, when you have the insane coverage, of not close combat such a yeah. good one too because like aggro and you have them right here but aggro and xplowd um as options for that uh but if we if we actually look at the pu tier because you guys gotta remember pu is basically old tier and you um yeah so you'll have your random whack mix of pokemon like basculin right but then you keep going and you'll have senescorch <laughs> and and like mods that shouldn't be here like a lonely executor xplowd uh, uh, Gigalith in PU? What? Golurk in PU. Like, Golurk, Golurk yeah. was Gol good Golurk in is, OU. It's solid in RU. It's good in OU as well. I'm going to be honest. It's really good yeah. in OU as well. Like, uh, in DD yeah. female. So, like, this tier is all over the place. They have their old, like, Pokemon that are, you know, they're PU. They, they, they stink, right? They don't stink, but they're, like, <laughs> they're not going to compete, right? Yeah, with what all just dropped, yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can uh, drop, like, uh, Fire Blast for Sucker Punch. Mm -hmm. um, I like Fire, uh, you can, you Fire Blast also, for like a Tangrowth though. That's pretty cool. A uh, Tangrowth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like basically knock off close combat. That's all you need on Absol. Like from there you kind of pick and choose what you want. Do you want Sword Stand Sucker Punch? Do you want Iron Tail Sucker Punch? Do you want uh, Sword Dance and uh, Iron Tail? Like it just kind of depends on what you want to do. We basically have the all out attacker set listed here, but you can easily run sucker punch probably over iron tail although you have like aromatis down here but um, <laughs> yeah. but you should really not yeah not, yeah you just knock that off and boom, and then like, it can't heal so itself and it can't he yeah it can't heal itself and it can't heal its teammates and i mean if we're going to talk about aromatis look how many pokemon down here deal with that pokemon now like, yeah like period yeah so like so like you can pretty easily run like sucker punch or sword stance over iron tail like mix swords dance um with like fire blast to destroy tangela just absolutely annihilate stall teams yeah um but you can also probably run choice scarf pretty effectively um that would definitely uh, use probably like night slash or something like that over fire blast so it has like a consistent dark move after you've knocked everything off um you could probably even run Choice Band if you wanted to. Or even Swords Dance, I like feel Scope Lens type of thing. Good work. Yeah, um, but I do feel like uh, Fire Blast on a Life Orb set is really good for Tangela, like super good. I agree, I agree. Also, it's uh, decent for Vileplume too. After it's taken Stealth, Rock was Knockoff, he'll die to a Fire Blast. So, like, just like... Yep. Ideas behind that are pretty cool. But Dark is a great offensive typing, and when you pair it with fire, uh, Fighting Coverage and steel coverage like 
And this looks like your in-game Absol, right? With Iron Tail and Fire Blast and Night Slash and Sucker yeah. Punch. But, like, it is it is a mod mm -hmm. that can really disrupt. I'm so surprised to see Articuno. Uh, but it's, I mean, it's all based on uses, right? But I feel like Articuno is the type of mod that can be annoying even in OU, UU, just because, like, Sub Roost and stuff or Heavy Duty Boots in general. Um, I think this is a very yeah. standard set. Freeze Dry, Roost, Toxic, Defog. It's a good special wall for the tier. Mm -hmm. uh, deal with the special attackers. Like, I mean, we just run through the special attackers, but we have a Cell Gore right there. Uh, and then, obviously, um, shoot, this thing will eat a charge Arch Fire Blast if it needs to. Like, it, uh, Claw yeah. Mixer, <laughs> it'll, it'll be able to deal with that and threaten it with Freeze Dry. Uh, Heal Bell can be used as well if you want to use that over Defog, and you can mm -hmm. sit on Status Mons as well. Uh, so that could be yeah, pretty. You cool can also, it. yeah, you can also run u turns somewhere in here for momentum, like on faster builds that just want to have something to sponge special hits. Yeah. Um, so you could definitely run u turn, like if you're using it on a, a more offensive build, uh, like over probably over toxic because you just don't want defog to like hazard control, like on a fast build, faster team build, and then u turn out yep. for some momentum. Um, yeah, heal bell is good. U turn is good. Uh, sub substitute is good. Like it, it's got a lot of good options in that fourth move slot. Like it listed defogs just because it's a really good hazard control mod because it checks so much. Yeah. But you can easily run like substitute. Um, yeah, you could probably even run hurricane on it if you uh, wanted to invest in a special attack to more offensively threaten things. Um, but it's really, I feel it's really going to be solid in PU. Um, I'm not sure if it'll rise back up to NU or not. It, very, it has the tools to, uh, don't get me wrong. But I, even if it doesn't, it'll be going to pee you. Like, it's not going to be the uh, old Articuno back in uh, generations prior where it's just not good anywhere because it's so weak to Stealth Rock. Because it doesn't have to deal with Stealth Rock anymore. It's got the boots. Yeah, boots just so, I mean, we've seen what they've done for the birds in OU. Like, Moltres is OU, right? Um, yeah, exactly. and, and Moltres is OU, and it's not like it's it's running like I mean Moltres was UU last gen, but because of offensive, right? Like Specs Moltres yeah. didn't really have switch ins or sharp beak or whatever you wanted, but now it's OU because of its defensive utility, which is really cool. So I think that boots really makes for something like RU is not going to be defined. Articuno is not going to be defined by PU, that's for sure. You will see it on variations mm -hmm. of stall in other tiers. That's a hundred percent for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll, uh, once the, like, in you, are you, once they settle, like, for sure, like, once they settle, you're going to see uh, Articuno stall bills in those tiers. Definitely. You, 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 I'm not sure. Uh, very well could, but I definitely feel are you, in you, you're going to see it be viable. Like, yeah. It might not be in those tiers by usage, but I think it will be viable. Agreed. I love that you have uh, Dragon right here. You have your good fighting switching. You're, you're basically your good physical switching. Rather, because you have yep. the, uh, the standard Stealth Rock Glare, Dragon Tail Earthquake. I think also Sheer mm -hmm. Force is something to make note of because in terms of switchings, yeah. the tier does not have uh, because it's a, it's a damn... Uh, th this tier has dragons that do not have switchings. A Lonely Executor, uh, Dredagon, uh, Duraladon. Duraladon, Guzzlord, like even Guzzlord is like low-key that type because of its yeah. uh, because of its coverage. So, like this team, this tier has a lot of uh, Pokemon like that that don't really... Uh, and then there's like Turnator too, which is funny because I was banned from NU last gen. So like even a Shell Smash Turnator can be uh, mm -hmm. really crazy. And then of course you have Kingdra as well, though uh, Drizzle is banned, but I don't remember if Manual Rain is. I know Heat Rock got banned from PU. I don't know if Manual Rain is banned itself. Because I, like I said, I, I know don't, I don't think so, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I want to say no, but I just do not know for sure. So if you know, drop it in the comments, please. Yes, please. Because <laughs> yeah. we don't know for sure. Yeah, and also let us know sets. Like, I mean, I know we're like an hour and eight minutes in, but you can let us know stuff. Like, it's not, this is, this is a discussion, but it's an open discussion, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Like, the sets listed are just like sample sets, basically. Like, if you wanted to just try these mods out, like, these are sets that should be successful for you. But, like, if you've had success with those, feel free to tell us. We're happy to look at them, test them out, whatever, whatever the case may be. Yeah, play all the tiers, so it is what it is. But uh, yeah, good physical uh, switching. Like you'll be able to punish a lot of physical attackers in their tier. Um, getting up rocker, yep. it's a good, it's a good rocker for offense as well as big uh, bulky offense too. And uh, if mm -hmm. you even wanted to go an extra step, you could run mold breaker plus stealth rock if you're worried about Zot too as well. Yeah, like overall, um, like I feel like sheer force is good, like with assault vest or life orb. Um, like you could definitely like run an assault vest type set because. 
Water, grass, fire, electric. Those are all good special base resistance. Yeah, so you resist all of Ash's uh, starters. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, like you resist a lot of stuff, like from the special base into the spectrum, and being able to have like an offensive switch into those type of things, like see, like Magmortar, uh, like you, with Assault Vest, you check that very well, and now you're firing off a, like powerful moves from a base 120 attack stat with a lot of your coverage moves being boosted by Sheer Force. Yep. So, overall, I think Dreadnought will be really, really good in PU, and I can easily see it going back up to NU once that tier settles now. And it got Scale Shot now, too. So, Home Claws with Scale Shot can be really cool with, like, Gunk Shot and, like, Earthquake mm -hmm. coverage yeah. and, or Fire Punch if you want. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you have Choice Bent Agron, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in any tier because Head Smash and Rock Head is just so... Uh, it's just... It feels so good to, to hit it, right? I mean, obviously, in the higher tiers, you have Tyrantrum. Which can do the same thing but yeah, faster. This is, it does the same thing but faster. This is this is. I was, gonna, I was gonna say it's basically, yeah, it's basically Tyrant Junior essentially. Yeah. Like this is this is Tyrant. Like, like you remember like, what Tyrant does? Yeah. Yeah, like you remember what Tyrant does, like an RU and you that sort of thing. Like yeah, Agron does the same thing down here. Yep. Um, very few switch ins. Uh, that's gonna be a common theme with some of the Pokemon we go over. Yep. Um, head smash for days. You've got coverage to deal with rock resist. Um, I'm not sure, like, I don't know PU well enough, like, nobody does at this point, to be fair. Yeah. But, uh, like, I have Aqua Tail listed, but, like, you can run Fire Punch. Body Press yeah, is not Thunder Punch. Body Press is boosted. Yeah. It is boosted by Choice Bend, even though it uses your defense. And your defense is faster than Max Investment to Adamant, which is really, your, your defense is higher than Max Investment yeah. Adamant, which is really funny with no investment at all. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, Agron has, like, really high natural physical defense, so... It, Kind of like a stack attack of plus Tyrantrum, yeah. kind of blended into one, um, except it's just running choice band. Um, yeah, it's just, it can also, I guess if you wanted to, like you could run like a, some sort of stealth rock set, take advantage of 30, and then use head smash to KO yourself to block like a rapid spin or yeah. a defog attempt. We're like cuss that berry too. But I think choice band. Cuss that berry yeah, but I think, but I is think, an option. Yeah, but I think Choice Band is really where it's at with Agron. That's where you're going to get the most mileage out of it. Yeah, but again, like if you want to try like Sturdy, Custap Berry, Endeavor, Stealth Rock, Head Smash type of thing, um, it could be really cool. Yeah, you, de yeah, you definitely can. Um, because Zatu sure is not switching into this, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's, it's 100%. Like, it's easy to right click them rockers. But uh, speaking of, uh, let's talk about the special variant of Agron right here. <laughs> Uh, we got X Black. No switch ins. Yeah, Mr. No, no switch ins and uh, no, no drawback either. Boom burst, scrappy, so you can hit the ghost types. Uh, doesn't I, matter. If I can definitely resist. see this. I definitely see being quick banned from PU. I yeah. don't see how they deal with this at all. Yeah. No, uh, this uh, Alola Negi. Um, I don't know about current Agron. Uh, Go Lurk might just move up from usage. Like we're, we're, the mods are going over are just mods that I either think would be think... quick banned or go up. I, th I think uh, if Golurk goes up, then Agron's gone. Like I feel like that's like the one Pokemon like can offensively switch into Agron and threaten it back. Yeah, that's fair, and faster. So. Um, yeah, but yeah, X Cloud, um, super good. I don't see it lasting at all. It's got the coverage it needs for Steel types and Rock types, and even then, like it doesn't really need to use it all that often because, like this thing, uh, like I have, I didn't play. Uh, I wasn't around RU when it was still RU before DLC. Uh, but I remember like back in Oras, like it was like three hit KO, uh, uh, especially defensive S Cavalier. Uh huh. And you, uh, that's, if, if and that's you, it. yeah, it, Assault Vest, like if you, it also three yeah. KO to Assault Vest. So like if, if a Cavalier switches in once, you just click Boom Burst twice next time and you were beating it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing. Like most X Plow switch ins, like they can take one Boom Burst, threaten it out, and that's it. Once it comes back in, it's. Killing something, <laughs> like straight up. Uh, I guess Gigalith being here is really good uh, because it is a naturally solid X file check. Like it has to predict twice, uh, which is a lot better than most other Pokemon can say. Yeah. Uh, because the Sandstream gives you the uh, Spadef boost that you need to take a Focus Blast very comfortably, um, much less a Surf. Um, and overall, Gigalith is a really good support Pokemon. Um, I believe. Gonna check a lot in the tower. Charizard and stuff as well. And, and also because like there hasn't been another Sand Stream Pokemon down here, uh, you can use Sand Rush Pokemon as well. So 
I mean, that's definitely something to look yeah. out for. There's Cinecana now. You got like, um, uh, yeah, but I think that ran like uh, what's it called chess skin. Yeah, yeah, typically. more so. Um, but like it's like the sand stream Pokemon. Like I feel, I think Cinecana's ability you have to get hit first to yeah. trigger it. Yeah. Um, like this is the first one that with sand stream, so I can see like, um. Uh, like a rock, midday, Stoutland, those type of things. It sucks that Stoutland uh, doesn't have more. any normal stab besides like retaliate, yeah. mega impact, and facade. Like losing yeah. frustration really hurt that mod. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I can definitely see those type of teams cropping up because they finally have a <laughs> sand center now. Yeah, this is good. Uh, this is good um, anti hail as well in the tier because Vanillex is down there. Oh yeah, along with Obama Snow and Aurora, like that's like yeah. triple, yeah, so. triple snow warning setters. Um, but yeah, Gigalith's gonna be really good. I fully expect this to rise up to NU um, within the next month or so, or maybe even Ar well, I don't know about RU, RU has Rhyperior, but NU at the very least, uh, I feel is where Gigalith will land, uh, and definitely viable in RU. Uh, so I don't see it staying down here long, not because it's broken, but because I think um, a higher tier is gonna take it. Via usage, no, I I, uh, I agree completely. Uh, I think that Gigalith is just always giving good support, like just period. I love how this has the right periodisk thumb, uh, like uh, idea, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> behind it. And again, good checks to Charizard, good checks to weather, um, and there's no trap inch to trap it. So, uh, just <laughs> funny, and there's no arena trap rather. So that's a big one. And obviously, right here you have Culverberry, uh offensive. Um, Golurk, and then I think Choice Band is an amazing one with no guard. You're not missing your Pulsar guys because oh, yeah. you can hit Dynamic mm -hmm. Punch. Uh, you can also put Close Combat over Dynamic Punch 2 on Choice Band, and like Stone Edge is an option as well. Uh, just a Mon that is overall really good. Rock Polish can even sweep. Like, it's legitimate in this tier, especially because some yeah. speed tiers are really low. But being a, being a ground ghost type that still threatens the like the ice types, like Vanillix and stuff after a Rock Polish and things like that is really cool. Uh, base speed tier exactly. as well. Base 55 is decent for Rock Polish as well. Uh, and again, just the offensive rocker. We mentioned Agron check. Um, Cobra Berry is cool for random dark hits as well. And good thing as well is when you pop your Cobra Berry, other goaler can't click Poltergeist on you too. And it's just a strong, just exactly. overall strong mod. Yeah, like this was previously PUBL. Um, now, I don't think it's that powerful in PU now, but it's similar to Gigalith. I expect a higher tier to take it because it's solid in RU, it's solid in NU. You mentioned it being solid in OU. Like, I feel like it's just solid everywhere, so I expect a higher tier at some point to just take it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, sooner I don't, I don't, I don't see later. a reason why. Yeah. And then uh, we mentioned, I think you can mention both this plus Ndidi with each other if you want, so feel free to take them. Yeah, so basically I listed Ndidi with the primary unburdened users that drops Hitmonlee and Sceptile. Sceptile, um, I'm going to save for a little bit later, but Hitmonlee and Didi, like very common core, it was super good in RU not that long ago, probably two or three months ago, they were super good together. Um, and I see no reason for them not to be super good down here. Uh, if not, absolutely broken. Like, I don't see outside of other terrain, which, by the way, you're going to encounter terrain wars in uh, PU now. Um, because you have Encouraging, yeah. Thwa and Thwacky. Thwacky fell down here as well. Uh, I don't think we have Thwacky or Pinkurchin listed. Pinkurchin's been down here and Thwacky dropped. Um, but um, Hitmonlee's almost exclusively going to be with Ndidi because it protects it from priority, uh, which is like the main way you would take out Hitmonlee because of its terrible physical bulk. Um, yeah, overall, like Hitmonlee can be really good with Ndidi. You know, Simon DD might be pretty good. Uh, cause it's got, it, like it still has like Reckless for like high jump kick, shenanigans. Um, it's got knockoff for your ghost types. So I think even outside of, uh, terrain, it, Hitmonlee will be pretty solid down here. Yeah, like a rapid spin um, speed boost is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, now Sceptile, uh, I haven't listed with Psychic Seed, but remember Thwacky dropped down here as well. So it can easily work under, uh, grassy terrain as well. Um, yeah, like Swords Dance, Leaf Blade, Drain Punch, Acrobatics, you could use Rock Slide over something if you need it. You use Citrus and Berry as um, well. That sort of, that, yeah, you also use Citrus like outside of uh, Terrain. But yeah, overall, 
Um, terrain's going to be a thing in uh, PU for the next little while, uh, because there's a certain other Pokemon that dropped down here that we'll get to here in a second. Um, yeah, three terrains, I think, are down in PU right now. <laughs> it's wild. Along with hail and sand. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be nasty. They did ban uh, rain, but like again, Ndidi being able to do that. The fact that Ndidi down here is really interesting. Um, now, Gigalith is a decent check to it, naturally, uh, but mm -hmm. that's like, yeah. that's it in terms of like Mons that really want to take hits from it. Like, Cole can yeah, hit Yeah, because like the Dark types? Right all, yeah. They're not like, that, like, yeah. Guzzlord gets Dazzling Gleamed, so... Yeah, so does like, Crafty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's not like... They're like, and we mentioned them because they're four times weak to it, so it's not like there's strong, strong answers to it. There's Skun Tank down yeah. there. I don't even know how Skun Tank will fit in this metagame, you know? Yeah, exactly. But, uh... And then we have... We have a, basically all the Swiss swimmers that fell yeah, down. I got, thank I got, goodness, thank yeah. goodness, thank goodness, Drizzle was banned previously because yeah. it's big. Uh, I think but, Kingdra can also do scope lens stuff as well, which might be something that pushes it because it's natural bulk. And... Oh yeah, I full, I fully expect Kingdra to be uh, quick banned uh, from PU if mm -hmm. it doesn't rise back up to NU. Yeah, um, I mean, this doesn't have switchings. <laughs> like it's a Kingdra. No. Yeah, like it's just straight up. It's just you can't switch into it very well. Um, fairy types are not that good down here. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. And even if they were, like you still have like hydro, like specs hydro pump or scope lens boosted hydro pump. Um, yeah, I just I I can't see this thing here in uh, PU. Like I, either NU is going to take it back or it's going to get quick banned. Yeah. Maybe both. Like it'll yeah. probably get quick ban from PU and then rise back up to in you. Basically, I basically. fully, I, I can, I can easily see that happening. Uh, Kabutops, um, really good physical sweeper. You can run a choice scarf on it as well. Rapid spin, give uh, it the speed but, boost. Weak armor is pretty cool yeah. too as a rapid spinner. I like that. Like Nash natural resists. Yeah. yeah. Um, very fun Pokemon. Um, I don't. No, uh, I think it was PU last gen, so I could definitely see it just fitting in here and kind of staying down here, being one of the top Pokemon. Yep. Um, and it could rise back up to Inu, I'm not really sure. Um, but I think at the very least, it'll be a very good PU Pokemon. I wish they gave it close um, combat. Like, I, really... I don't know why it didn't get it. Like, it's got Blaze. Like, Galade has close combat. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm going um, fighting, but to be fair. Yeah. Now, Omastar, on the other hand, I do not see that staying down here with, uh, like, Shell Smash, Meteor it's Beam. It's so easy to Shell Smash. It's natural defenses, uh, like, defense, and even special defense is good. Like, even then, like, weak armor plus Meteor Beam is still scary as well. Like, don't not to mention that. Like, on a random U-turn or, or something like that. Um, yeah. The ability to take advantage of Pokemon like Charizard as well is pretty cool. Uh, unless it's Focus Blast. Mm -hmm. And uh, threatening out something like Gigalith 2. Barely being revenge killed by the sand abusers. There's just barely, just barely. Yeah. And uh, sand slash has to run like jolly if it wants to even out speed. Same thing with both, both hail sand slash and both. And then just the meteor beam plus power herb. So you actually threaten the Obama snow and vanillix and stuff like that. Just raw. Exactly. Really, really cool. Yeah, like you, like you uh, shell smash as they come in uh, to set up hail to try to outspeed you, and then boom, you just meteor take beam. them out with a the meteor beam. They can't reset hail. So even if uh, like you can't finish the sweep, you at least took away like Arctivision, yeah. Alola yeah. Sand Clashes, like their speed, their form of speed. Yep. Um, now speaking of something that I do not see lasting at all in PU. So remember how I said there's going to be three terrains in PU? Yeah, this is why. Alola and Raichu dropped. How? <laughs> <laughs> This mod broken. How? This, this mod broken. This thing is super good in, in you. Like, it's super good in, in you. Like, how? How did this drop? Um, and this can also work in psychic terrain, too. Like, boosted psychics. Like, you just replace Rising Voltage with Thunderbolt. Now you can't use priority to kill it. Yep. Um, like, it's kind of similar to Sceptile. I see it working under two terrains. Um, Sept Sceptile's in grassy terrain, oil and rice use electric terrain. But uh, yeah, like what switches in nothing, two nothing. It doesn't have deals with switches. this. It doesn't. And the thing is, if like, you actually except, look at except the tier, for, I think Guzzlord is like the only thing that maybe can handle it, and that's got to be pretty heavily invested. I mean, and, it can, and if if Guzzlord rises up, it'll just run Focus Blast. Like it, it will start yeah, to run exactly. Focus Blast. So like, if yeah, you actually exactly. look at the tier, there's not a lot of sucker punches. 
like in this tier that are like mm -hmm. like viable. Yeah. Right. So it's it's yeah. interesting. Like, like Absol's probably the main one. Yeah, Shift Tree's up there too, and then you have like the mm -hmm. borderline sucker punchers like Lipard and and Kanga, uh, as well. It's gonna it's gonna take I guess. Although I think I run special down here, but I'm not for sure on that. Yeah. But I mean, pretty cool. But, uh, uh, I think it's speed tier is a big thing as well. Like if it can't run rising voltage, you, like you mentioned, you can easily use it on uh, psychic rain terrain, teams yeah. and avoid it. Yeah, just use thunderbolt expanding force. Like that's big as well. Yeah, and being exactly. faster than all like, the sucker punches is really really good. And it just it has perfect coverage. Like this is not a mod we'll see stay in PU. That is for sure. No, like I I think it's gonna take the uh, King Dorado perfect quick stay in the PU and rise up to NU. Yeah. Good usage. I'll see it too. I like the mon that you uh, listed last as well. And I do want to <laughs> say that I think you can slash Stone Edge with Zen Headbutt, but I think Stone Edge is also currently better. Um, but yeah. you, you can take over Verizion if you want. So, Verizion, my favorite legendary of all time. What are you doing down here? You don't belong <laughs> down here. Um, but yeah, Source Dance, I feel, is the way to go with Verizion. It's a very good bulky water switch in. You have one barrier that shrunk off Scalds. And then set up Swords Dance, great speed tier, good natural special defense, so yeah. you can take some special hits decently well while you're setting up. And uh, it got Leaf Storm and Air Slash this generation. I don't know how Choice Specs would do. And Mega Horn. But it at least has tool. Yeah. Uh, but like it at least has tools for Choice Specs now where it didn't in the past. Um, but yeah, Verizion, I don't see I think Calm Mind Air Slash actually has some type of use just because you actually let you beat things like Fire Plume and opposing Verizion. Oh, yeah, like for sure. Like it gives you grass type coverage with yeah. uh, the, uh, well, grass poison coverage. Like because the uh, SD set typically can't afford to run that because it needs Stone Edge for flying types. Um, but without in power, you don't have flying type coverage on the Calm Mind set. Anyway, so you might as well hit the grass poisons with Air Slash. Um, yeah, like Verizion, I don't see it staying down here. Um, I, yeah, I know. And now that we're at the last Pokemon, I can finally say this. There are so, so many Pokemon that dropped the PU that we didn't cover that are really, really good. We don't have time for them all. <laughs> like, um, we're already one. I've, I've, like yeah, I've been talking about Alola Negi. That mod is fire. That mm -hmm. mod is straight right, up. There's so many good Pokemon that drop down here. We mentioned Vile Plume in passing. We mentioned, like you said, Little Executor in passing. Um, there's like Cinescore, Charizard, Talonflame is down here. Like, there's so many good Pokemon that drop down here, most of which have no business being down here. But, like, as we've seen really over the past couple of months, as the. Uh, Tier changes with DLC is, have happened in UU, then RU, then NU. We've known this was going to happen in every... Like, once we saw the UU changes, we kind of knew then that um, Power Creep was going to get redefined in every yep. tier yep. as these shifts happened. And we'll help see you once that happens. Yeah, no, I mean... Because they're next. Yeah, like, I, like, if you, like, if you play... Like, I know ZU is not, like, a super official tier yet. Like, it's loosely supported. But if you play that tier, get ready because it's going to happen to you next. And well, you see, it, it's going to be. I think they're you going see back what to is PU right now? Right? <laughs> Are they going back to their regular tier shifts though? The three months now? Every three uh, months? I, be I believe that's what they're doing. Don't know. I believe that's what I they said. They were. This was the maybe. last one. So yeah, this is a lot. Yeah, this is the last mid tier, mid month one. I don't know if uh, they're like change, like doing tier shifts January and then go to the three months like i don't know for sure like i, I know for sure this is the last mid-month one yep but i don't know if we're getting another one january 1st because it was planned to have a shift january 1st before they added the mid-month one i don't know if that's still the plan or not i don't know i mean now um, we have the next few months to actually see tears start to stabilize and not be shocked by a million <laughs> different things every single month right <laughs> exactly yeah i'll be glad when it goes back to three months we get actually we get actual full metas. We get time to actually write analyses so we can better inform people. Um, and but I mean, until then, it, we keep just get these to videos. see metas develop in general. Yeah. But again, like I said, until yeah, then, like, we'll just be making yeah, these. Like, so it's, it's fun. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, like, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. That was the last. That was the last month. So, guys, uh, that's it. Thank yeah. you uh, once again. Uh, Eon, thank you so much for joining. 
always a pleasure always fun to talk about these uh, guys if you did enjoy feel free to leave a like uh, if you made it to the end let me just leave a comment that said I made it to the end I, I would like to see that uh, obviously a lot of people <laughs> skip through. It's, it's a long video so I don't expect anything. hopefully uh, hopefully uh, you use uh, that G fuel to get to the end hey facts if you want to use code aim it's 30% off uh, this is Monday so that's the last time though they will be giving me I think another 30% off Thursday to Monday and that'll be the last one of the month uh, thank you guys for all the support on that link is down below and uh, yeah, bro, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye.